And we are going to get ourselves into a crucial match, as that's going to be an early shot coming out. Team Secrecy starting off exactly how they plan to continue. Uh, well, they didn't take any time at all to make this first shot. Met with an incredible strike nearly into the top corner, but Magnus and Demo, secure. the goalie, this could be an opportunity for him. Oh, Magnus <laughs> couldn't get contact, and Snasky has evened this one up. Somehow Snasky was able to get this final touch. Farah came in for it, and Snasky, after getting a beautiful demolition, I think, did get a small touch on that no seven save for the leftovers. Oh! oh. Snasky's got to get behind the goal, eight. but that's oh. not going to work. Snasky had to get into the goal to clear it, but it was just not quick enough. Couldn't get there in time. Farah <laughs> couldn't get there. What a redirect. Putting that over to the post. But like I said, having to sit there on deep. Snasky net. made an attempt to bump Metz out of net, but he completely missed. I think he was expecting Mex to jump, and Mex just stared him down and refused to Six jump. shots on net, they're able to turn it to offense. Siki just a bit shy on that shot, a little too high, but Farah finding the position that the defender that? couldn't reach. Yep, pretty much. My terrible vocabulary, luckily, is a lot worse than their offense, and a lot somehow sneaks that in. Farah just getting close to taking that from the he side went post. To best all five games, and Farah's going to try and start that one off early. 1-0, an open goal for him. Always off of kickoff. Someone's going to go for a boost that probably shouldn't. Someone's going to be a little far up than they shouldn't. It happens more often than we'd like to admit, yeah. even here. And goes for the bump onto Snasky, although that is not working out so far for Team Secrecy. And have they got anyone back for this? No, they do not. That can go all the way. Mogus has to get there, but he can't. And Snasky and the rest of the leftovers get a free goal. Another open net. Metanaris coming up for this shot, but a lot wasn't able to retreat in time, trying to steal boost on his way back. Almost of him, just not rotating back on defense. Simple rotations so far. Have That's been the be punishing shot, factor. Magnus. His team have a shot at this one now. We're in one goal, and we've still got plenty of game left to play. That aggressive positioning seems to have paid off this time. Magnus did get there. Fair this time it will get contested by a lot in the middle. Will Metzenaris get up for the shot? He does. Just the crossbar comes down right into Magnus. Too dedicated for that save for the leftovers. Team Secrecy do not want to hear anything about a reverse sweep. Great touch there from Metzenaris. Completely oh, sets up the Team Secrecy. As Vera puts that one, no one in net yet again, and Team Secrecy, this is twice now. Three times. Three times? All three goals have been to lack of rotation. Not to take anything from the leftovers. Think Siki looked like he was about to seek out a lot for the demo, but he yeah. didn't need to. Thought it was going to potentially be a sweep. When they tied it up, Team Secrecy looked like they were starting to get a lot more momentum, but Siki coming in just in and time. We are going to go to a game four definitely now. I don't know what is going on with the defense right now for Team Secrecy. Magnus turned around a bit too much. Him and a lot both going up for that Hitting save. The crossbar and then going in. Picture perfect placement. Magnus didn't get off the backboard, and Farah decided to bail on that, and he sure is glad he did because faking each other out. Oh, Farah, you don't want to put it right there in front. Siki has to make He's not a risky do it. save. Oh. Not a great touch from Farah. He actually centered it for his opponents. He wanted to get a hard clear there, but he didn't turn his car enough. Hit it with the side. It was significantly weaker. Siggy did his best. He did Seven his darnest. shots in the first two minutes. Team Secrecy ramping it up again, trying to bring it down. A lot with the angle that he needed. Snasky couldn't return in time to the goal line. A bit off on so many of their shots. This game could be such a larger gap, and there it is, enough pressure, and you won't even find defense anymore. No one from the leftovers had retreated. Both Siki and Farah going up for this. Yep, yeah, you cannot send two players to those sort of plays. You need to have the communication going, and it's just one lap. It is not gorgeous, but it is a goal. I think that was shot four, five, and six for Farah. That was three shots on target right there. The first one getting saved by Team Secrecy. to make it difficult, but continue to make it back. One by one, pulling out the defenders, and Magnus, why'd you turn? Turn that way. He turned left instead of right. Staying he couldn't pressure. That's going to be dangerous. They have to get oh. behind the ball. Someone touched it. Siki's going to come in. Turned into the side of the net. Game five. Here we come. Always putting themselves in some of the tightest situations. This stayed in front of the net for such an uncomfortable amount of time. But Siki found the hole, came in and secured it. Find no one out here. As Ferrer turns that one up high. Metzenaris gets the clearance though, but that's going straight over to Siki, who launches it early. <laughs> Oh my goodness, the laser beam! 11 seconds into this, and Siki does not even take time to breathe before striking this from the corner. What beautiful action. Enough to make saves anywhere in the net. Snasky, early shot from him. Oh! oh! Finds himself caught on the post. 2-0, and the leftovers, they are on course to the <laughs> left to make this comeback. This is too much for my heart to handle. Magnus trying to take that out the back wall. It's coming and through. Great pass there from Magnus.
But look at this one. You are not saving that. The moment you let your guard down, Team Secrecy will... They need to make sure they're not in their own net. And as I talk about it, look at it, two defenders in the net, and neither one is going to stop this shot. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with the contesting, but kudos to Mummy Snow playing that. You see Magnus with a terrible touch, to be completely honest. He plays that shot for Penta to strike first. Well, that's uh, an answer. It's one way to rebuttal it. I was just it. trying to wait to see what was going to happen there. I'm like, that looks like a kickoff goal, and it was that that popped up. Unfortunate for Killer. Yeah, a lot of it has to do when we talk about cheating up on the kickoff. For that uh, bit of defensive error on that first one, we've seen him be able to get quite a few good angles before. Well, Magnus, know your NA math isn't hurting you too bad. Able to count? Proud well, of you? I mean, it counted for me on the screen. I, well, I'm glad you can read that. If Team Secrecy can't find any chance to really break out and counterattack, that's going to be in front of the net with no one home. Freaky puts her away. Yeah, a lot of it has to do with this pass play here. You see him going up preemptively, trying to clear that downfield, but Killer waiting for it patiently, brings it up, and then gets another quick touch off the wall. That Plays clear his day on this map. Huge mistake coming out from Penta. Just a big whiff flying cross. Huge whiff. Good to see a lot. Too many times, like, sometimes the open nets are the hardest Definitely ones a lot to didn't miss for his team. Team Secrecy now up 1-0 in the series. Nope, they tied it up. We've seen a lot of quick answers between these two teams specifically. So what makes these games so close too? Eventually you see a snowball effect happen, but both teams doing a phenomenal job. You saw a little secrecy bit of a duel. mistake on defense, and that's going to secrecy. And yet again, the secrecy team so comfortable and early on those walls. Ball gets on target, stopped out by the defense, barely, but that one will not be stopped as Metzenaris does finally find a hole in the Penta defense. Yeah, great rotation coming in as that third man for Metza. You see this pass played up by a lot. And as you see Magnus to move in instead into the corner. Rotation coming in strong right now for Penta, but a missed touch from Freaky. Good recovery, though, as he gets that one out to Killer. I thought that was going the other way. What a recovery for Freaky to be able to get that pass. Yeah, he mistouches it, like you said there, but because he lands correctly, maintains his, his momentum, goes up the wall, and then actually back passes it in favor of his... But to set the map match point is they both have a point in this series, this best oh. of five, and that's going to be the point for Team Secrecy as they were trailing a point in the series. Now up two games. I'm assuming this was a communication call. You see Magnus ready to take that touch, and I don't know if that was just like a cheeky fake or what but a wide Struck open net. On defense to keep this one away and miss from Mummy. Sets him out of the play. A chance there for a bounce shot. Two Mets. The pass play and it's in, but only one goal, but also only one minute left. After three minutes and almost 45 seconds, we finally see our first goal and it comes from finally someone seeking. It's going to be the first one to that one in a danger position. <gasps> no one in net. And Pashi and the rest of Pocket just slowly dismantling the defense. Yeah, the MVP for EU as predicted by Gibbs. That one just a miss there on the backboard. Left it wide open for his Pashi. First to shot just... and his first goal. Yeah, Pashi needed to get that further into the corner. He didn't get the greatest clear, but Killer put that one as clear. far. Well, at least trying to set it up yet again, but Freaky has open. that one covered. Mummy Snow has got an open goal to aim at a demo completely ruins the pocket aces rotation. Yeah, Violent Panda got caught too far down into enemy territory with no boost, and Killer just pounces on him and blows him up. Mummy had a wide open Standing net, but really yet again, Pashi committed up, and then every, yeah, Violent Panda was in the air, didn't have boost again. So they're just, they're See, boost they all over the place right now. Whoops. Mummy Snow gets this touch, and it just surprised Violent Panda, who, like, I don't know. Pocket aces might just be giving this game up. Pashi probably had no boost there, and Killer reading it off the back. You see Pashi just threw. That's going to be a good quick shot there. Freaky has to try and save that one. Pashi gets himself oh, up, turns that one down. And if you want to respond to the type of game Pocket had previously, that is how you do it. Yeah, Freaky and Mummy both went for that. Pashi, he had four boosts left after that shot. He used his broken boost. But he was one of the best Ooh. 1v1 players around. That's a good save there from Violent Panda. Now they've got to try and play this one away. Straight into the path of Killer number seven, though. They could have got that one away much smarter than they did. Yeah, you said it. He put it right into the path. Violent Panda had some time here. He needs to hit that over to one of the sides. It doesn't matter whatever game you're playing. Putting yeah, a ball an back. Even better save there from Killer, who was coming out big here. And Pashi says, all right, oh, if we oh, can't oh, beat Violent you, we will bump you. And Violent Panda comes in with the goal. Violent Panda with this fling. Look at him. He just mind games Freaky and launches it off 
that post right back to himself. Violent Panda doing some heavy oh, this went down again. He didn't have a lot of boost, but Pashi to Chassette. Chassette put that one off the corner and went for it. Both of those players wanted the goal, but Pashi's the one who gets credit oh, for it. We've seen a couple of uh, oops moments from Pocket Aces in game one, and now in game number two, Chassette going for the clear. And accidentally just oh, was, uh, uh, unfortunate for the defense there. Pashi actually got the block there, and it kicked out off of the curve. Freaky must have been, maybe you ex expecting it to roll a little bit a little smoother. Bit fortunate Violent Panda had them both beat, and it went off the crossbar and down, bouncing right over Freaky. Shashet was, he was originally ready for the backboard read. and Setting had this split. up, barely keeping that one out, and then Panda puts it on a platter for Pashi, and Pocket aces. Get a three. Goal. They need to get a goal soon. Pashi, what a touch. lovely little touch onto that one. It's still oh. dangerous. Off the side again, and just set with the Marky Dude RS goal, comes in and cleans up. This one set up by Pashi, coming across the field. Violent Panda didn't have the greatest angle on it, but just putting it off the backboard allowed Chassette to come in Again, and uh, not the greatest hit. That one going right down to Chassette. Panda having that counterattack, just kind of swerving all around, but it started out when Pashi did not get the greatest clear. Bounced right off the ceiling. Panda, Chassette, both jumping for that one. Chassette. <laughs> The pre-jump really, really missing. Pashi not able to keep the attack going because of that. Here we go. Violent Panda goes straight for net. 1-0. Great shot there from Violent Panda. Finally, the offense coming through for pocket aces. Mummy Snow not getting the greatest touch. And Panda pounces on it. He didn't even get cleared away by pocket. The Chassette and Violent Panda going to link up together. See if they can get the pass over. That's the leftover for Chassette. Ooh. Great little touches there. Trying to play distraction and it ends up working. Chassette follows this one up. Panda getting the boost stolen from Killer, but Killer was too far out. Panda actually got in the way of He's Killer. He's got demos to work with the pass over to <gasps> Killer. We have a real match. A beautiful pass setting up Killer here. Mummy with the block. Freaky hits his e-break and just puts it out on a platter for Killer, but Killer had to slow that one right down. At the start, Killer accidentally feels backflip, man, and then Freaky hits it. Killer committed to the same ball, so chaos on defense. Yeah, they are very warmed up at this point in time. That's going to be a looping ball. No one's reacting to that. Fighting Panda just ends up missing it. Doesn't need to do anything, though. Oh, dearie me. This was uh, quite a mishap between Zentis and Dan Zizzle. Not his fault. He was just trying to retreat. And then from there, Niels Cook thought Violent Panda was going to take the shot. But Defense. eventually, the outpacing did happen. Chassette finally was able to beat that final event defender. Zentis trying to up there for the early block. Fantastic players, but both of these sides really showcasing their skills. What an oh. angle from Pashi <laughs> in the corner. This redirect is a one for the books. Look at that, over into the corner, and Pashi 9A gets himself up, rotates the car, hits it towards the net, and scores. Really showcasing their skills here. This was strictly for the viewers. Violent Panda putting that actually just about on target. Them. I genuinely would have thought that Pashi 90 would have been the one to come up and contest that way before that. The side boost had spawned that he went that down. ball. It's going to require Zentis to come in. Wide rotation is coming through. Zentis takes it over the what? top. And 1-1. One, one. The goal drought is over. Hallelujah. Let's have a harvest. This is as smooth as dribbles can get. Look at how the, the, just the curve on this turn. He was able to keep it just ever so gently on the corner of his one car. One side to the other. The patience on Pashi to take that pinch off the wall and violent. I don't even know how you'd read that off of a teammate. As I see it from Mocket off the backboard. Ooh, that's actually a really rough spot. Fairy Peak just has to put it oh, on target. Oh, what a shot from Fairy Peak. All he had to do, and it's Fairy Peak. He can do that as both defenders are completely gone from the net. Well, you saw one shot coming in, and luckily for them, Mystic was committing to that as well. But Fairy Peak Kettles able to rotate. to the other end, one on one. Niels trying for the far shot. He makes it past Fairy Peak. That's so hard as a defender. Is it a mind game? Is it a shot? It's a goal. Yeah, well played by Niels as well. That slight delay in that hit, getting making sure to get around it, just puts enough. Passing plays from Niels to Dan. That's a bad spot. And Niels is going to be able to slam that one in a defensive mistake. Oh, it's just as you stated, a big defensive mistake. You see Mystic trying to get around and play that. I think he purposely rotated his card because he wanted to play that back Sometimes out to the right. Sometimes not connecting with their passes. Still good awareness, though, from KDOP. He saw that there was people in net. So rather than trying to force it, he passes yeah. it back oh. out. And it eventually allows them 
perfect decision making there. He actually passed it out. It allows them to maintain possession, and then look what comes from it. There Kate you go. off that corner and plays it right back into the middle for Fairy Fer Peak. Well, they need this. A lot of the times they've Demo. been... Freeze of the space, just missing some of those shots. They need to make oh, sure the capitalize on the it like that. Plays. I was gonna say on it. I'm like, hmm. Zensus maybe should have taken a shot there. Or sorry, Niels could have taken a shot. I didn't even see Zensus on the far side. What a where these guys know where they are on the field at all times. We have Cow knows with 22 seconds left up again in game number two. Well, a lot of the times you see these guys take their time downfield and dribble it, but he recognizes oh, he's open. Now. Texting Gibbs to change our predictions right now. As Kaunos is looking good, but a quick answer, maybe speaking too early. 13 seconds left. We're back at a tight game, and mock it. Not happy being behind. They're like, we need a point in this series. Great passing play from Kaunos Mockett. taking game number two, and they're at match point. I mean, you're looking at this stat line, and in their game last week against Secrecy, there was a huge upset for Kaunos, where they ended up taking it. Oh, straight up, one. except the post says, also no problem. I'm going to stop that one finally. Fairy Peak with a nice soft shot. Gently puts that one away for the first goal, but again, for the third time in a row, mock has gone up. Will it be for a third time in a row that they drop the game, though? Now mock it offense, pushing forward. Great pass from Kadop. Oh my goodness, in the corner. Look at the way he gets a second touch here. Yeah, as soon as that ball goes up, Kadop comes off the wall, flips into it, but luckily able to land and get that pinch perfectly out to his teammate. But this Not is the mock one. We and that could be exactly what they oh. needed. Nice touch. Okay, okay. Okay, K-Dop. We get it. You're amazing. Look Sending at this. House, Look how man. he turns his car. Could get the soft side. This is all he could have done. That was the only open spot on the net. He had to Coming get a soft in. side. You see Mystic play this perfectly off that wall again. Something they did last time. But for him to air roll and put that oh. shot, just the follow-up. Obviously, the thing to do is, is to basically try to have your, your plan still stay successful after the other team tries to jump. came to him. Like, this is that connection we talk about. <laughs> the best duo in the game. Unbelievable passing play. Just Still able to a hard thing to save, but that, that's rough for the defense here. Zens is throwing himself out of the way. He's too close. And then, I don't know what his teammate was doing. He got a lot of it had to do with the initial. You see two people committing really hard. And playing that he up did. high, yeah, as they're walking downfield, he's just getting in his way. You even saw that Look a couple times. Hands of fairy peak. Well, you show them, like, Mocket sends two players on that attack, and they actually win that. But then they don't do anything with it. They're not capitalizing I on think those they mistakes. they need to do. Mocket sped it up. Let's take it to the ground, and let's really think about our passes instead of slamming them. Game? The slam? Then they'll win. Like, that. that is a winning score, 2-1. to one. As long as Play they can hold on. Coming out here from oh, Mocket. That's still going to be a shot. The pressure, they put one in within the first 30 seconds, and that's not a good start for Kaunos. No hesitation on these shots either. One after another, at most one bounce. Well, hopefully this doesn't stop Kaunos, as we saw and as I just mentioned. Anytime Mocket has gone up by two goals or more, they have closed out the game. Yep. But still. Maybe it's just a wear and tear. They tried to get one of those passing plays, but instead they just give the ball over to Fairy Peak with two and a half minutes left. This is looking dire. Yeah, Zensis was trying to air roll that to play it yeah. kind of down as he had a teammate behind him directly back.